We uh, want to change directions now. Tell you about the start of Brown's training camp. The full squad reported to headquarters in Berea today. And the voice of the Browns, Jimmy Donovan, here now with how camp looks a lot different this year. Hi, Jimmy. Hello, Russ. It certainly does. I'll tell you what, at this time last year, Berea was definitely the place to be. Everyone thought the Browns were going to be Super Bowl contenders, and so everybody wanted to be there. Nobody can be there this year. The players did show up today for day one of training camp, but remember, no football at all, and it's going to be that way for a while. So instead, it was testing, coronavirus testing, and that's going to be the way it's going to go, really, for the next couple of weeks before the Browns really get out onto the practice field. Here's the procedure. The players go to a trailer outside of the facility and they're tested. They have to put together three consecutive negative tests before they move to the next phase, which would be they are allowed inside to get a physical, to get their equipment, and to begin the process of getting able to work out inside the building in small groups. The next key date would be August 14th. That's when the Browns would be on the practice field starting to do football activity before that, it's going to be a lot of conditioning. Then on August 17th, the Browns will be allowed to go into football mode, put the pads on, and start contact drills. There are 14 practices allowed to be physical with contact, and there'll be days off mixed in between. Russ, the key thing here is there'll be constant testing. That's the difference that the NFL thinks that they have in their protocol to make this thing work is that they'll constantly be testing that it doesn't get away from them and that some team doesn't get run over like the Miami Marlins have had in the yeah. sport of baseball. But right now, day one, no footballs allowed, just testing. A lot to unpack. All right, Jimmy, we'll see you later in sports. Thank you.